Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has been disconnected from its last remaining power line. The UN Atomic Watchdog says that the plant is now relying on a reserve line. This comes after the IAEA Director General extended support and assistance in Zaporizhia on Thursday. The agency's experts were told by senior Ukrainian staff that the plant's fourth operational 750 kilovolt power line was down. Now, three others were lost earlier during the conflict. Currently, only one of the station's six reactors remains in operation. The reactor is producing electricity both for cooling and other essential safety functions at the site. According to the Energo Atom Nuclear Power Company, the reactor number five of the plant was switched off due to continuous shelling in the area. Transmission lines to the plant were shut last week when the facility was cut off from the national grid for the first time in its history. This prompted power cuts in various regions of Ukraine. However, emergency generators kicked in to provide power needed for vital cooling processes. A blame game over the plant continues. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky blamed Russian shelling for the cutoff, but Moscow alleged that Ukrainian forces had attempted to capture the plant by attacking the facility on Friday night. Несмотря на присутствие на Запорожской атомной электростанции представителей МАГАТЭ, киевский режим в очередной раз предпринял попытку захвата АЭС. 2 сентября около 23 часов московского времени две группы катеров и моторных лодок общей численностью 42 единицы с десантом свыше 250 человек из числа сил специальных операций и иностранных наемников осуществили попытку высадки на побережье Каховского водохранилища в районе Энергодара we are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.